Hey guys, what's up? Scott, your box of mind. Today's video is about breaking records, okay? So, tracking, okay? Tracking, track your workouts, track your eating. Tra if you want to improve, you need to track because there's only so far you can improve intuitively. And once you get to a good level of fitness or strength or bodybuilding or boxing or competitive sport, there's only one way to know if you're improving and getting better, and that's to track. To track your your workouts, okay? How much rounds of boxing you're doing? How much, you know? How much? What the weight is you're lifting, and how much sets and reps? And you track it, and then every two weeks or three weeks you need to increase it. So lift heavier, which I'm doing, okay? Tracking all my weights here, and I broke a few records today. Um, I lifted heavier than usual for a few different exercises. So that's my new normal set point, and I'm gonna keep it like that for two three weeks. And then I'm going to lift heavier. Okay, give yourself a few weeks so that your your tendons and your body and your ligaments adapt to the new stress, so you don't get injured. And then after a few weeks, you need to push yourself mentally to go one heavier weight. Because I'm trying to get bigger. It's hard for me to get big. I'm not naturally big, but I'm not small. I'm like a, a middle-sized guy naturally. So I've got to work a lot harder and maybe eat a bit more food and mentally and push myself harder get more sleep, stuff like that, okay? Because no cheating, no drugs, nothing like that. The, the side effects of all this is not good. It fucks up your, your, your balls, your, your natural hormones, and also mood swings on your family and being a, being a different person, you know? So a lot of the guys in the gym are taking drugs and they, they get muscle in their sleep. But for me, I've got to work a lot harder. And once I get to this point where I'm it's so hard to get more improvements, I need to start tracking so that I know what my weight is and if I'm lifting. Because before now, I just pick up the, I just I intuitively do it all, you know? But now, getting serious, I want to get bigger, stronger. And uh, so I'm tracking my weights and every few weeks, I will make sure I increase them. I have to eat a bit more rice, a bit more chicken. I'm not tracking my food yet, I'm not that serious, but uh, I intuitively know what I'm eating on a day. I eat the same stuff pretty much every day, so I know chicken, rice, I know my porridge, my protein, yogurt, stuff like that. But anyway, let's get to the point. The video is about tracking. Track your workouts, track, if you've got problems with your nutrition, track your nutrition. There's my fitness pal app, you can write it down. If you track your weights, if you're trying to get bigger or stronger. If you're a competitive athlete, track your, how much rounds a week you do of shadow boxing, how much rounds you do of the bag, of uh, sparring, whatever sport it is, Jiu Jitsu, Muay Thai, anything. UFC, MMA, boxing, football, rugby, anything. Track what you're doing. How, how, how much um, run do you do in a week? How much cardio? How much strength? How much sparring? You know what I mean? So tracking. If you want to improve, track what you're doing. And every few weeks, make sure you're increasing it. Okay, either the intensity, the duration, or the rest. You're taking the rest down, you're doing it for longer you're doing it more times a week or you're making the workouts harder you're going at a harder pace pushing yourself more lifting heavier just going the extra few rounds and stuff like that okay so that's it if you want to improve track because what gets tracked gets improved okay so scott your box of mine